Science can be viewed from different perspectives. We would like to talk to you about one of these perspectives. To be upfront, we are pro-science, and specifically for a lasting, sustainable kind of science. What do we mean? Just like everything else in life, science can be thorough, exact, sustainable, or simply superficial. Therefore, the word science does not necessarily equal science. For example, the majority of people involved in the field of science do not follow the criteria of evidence-based medicine. Evidence-based medicine is not just words. It signaled the beginning of a new scientific era. Evidence-based medicine means that treatments and medications are judged following strict scientific guidelines. Let's clarify exactly what we mean by strict scientific guidelines. We would like to use a little example to explain this gray area of science to you. Let's say you are a skin lotion producer and would like to test your finished product. You commission two companies, Company A and Company B to test your hand lotion for you. Company A sets up an advertisement and asks passers-by to test your skin lotion at a street side stand. The lotion is applied to the skin and the test person's subjective experiences are noted. The skin lotion is applied by young pretty girls, so the majority of the test candidates are naturally men. We probably don't need to say much more about how Company A operates. Interestingly, all men are satisfied with the hand lotion and they claim their skin feels much younger. The acquired data is sent back to you. A short letter states, Out of 200 test individuals, 180 experienced your product as very positive. 10 testers said good or positive, And the other 10 testers refused to give an opinion. This means that 95% of the testers were satisfied with your product. We might as well start the ad campaign right away. However, because you know that Company A's work might not be reliable, you commission Company B to test your product as well. Company B takes the skin lotion and produces numerous copies that contain common skin fat, but not your actual lotion. This is called a placebo. The individual packages are coded so that even the distributor doesn't know if he is giving out the active substance or just the skin fat. Furthermore, the substance is distributed double blind, meaning both the tester and the person tested do not know if they are getting the active substance or the placebo. Nowadays, we know that patients are unwittingly influenced by doctors who give prescription medications. Therefore, all reliable studies must follow the double blind design. Since Company B works very reliably and has been active in this field for decades, they also initiate their testing in multiple cross-continent capitals, known as multi-center studies. It is conceivable, for example, that the product is tolerated differently in Vienna than in Berlin due to differences in tap water. A standardized questionnaire is used for evaluation. If all of the previous criteria for the data, meaning that it's double-blind, multi-center, placebo-controlled, and statistically analyzed, and it offers significant findings, then the study results are discussed by company scientists. Many factors have to be taken into account, not just during the study implementation, but when discussing the study results. For example, study analysis must ensure that there were no errors made during the study design, such as... Too many women taking part in the study who have hormonal fluctuations due to the pill. Such factors can devaluate study results and therefore need to be analyzed. In the end, Company B provides us with an accurate study. First, the study structure is investigated and described. Double-blind, multi-center, placebo-controlled. Then the individual data is listed. For example, product tested on 4,000 subjects. 2,000 of which were placebo, 1,000 female under 18, as the case may be. Followed by the study results, and finally, the most important step, the data interpretation. This simple example explains what thorough and accurate scientific work looks like. We don't mean to make any suggestions, but it seems clear that a company with a good product will hire company B, while a company with a bad product We'll hire someone like Company A for product testing.
Therefore, as an experienced study reader, you can already make assumptions about a product just by looking at the study design. As a side note, most skin lotions on the market are tested by company A's. In contemporary science, the problem is that product testing is often carried out by people who have motives other than scientific truths. Why an individual chooses to work in a scientific field has changed considerably over the last few decades. Previously, science was practiced for the sake of science itself. Because of fast developments and globalization, a growing field of so-called shadow science has emerged. This field of science is not concerned with results that advance mankind, but with the well-being and profit of individuals. Nowadays, that shadow science generates large profits and garners large academic titles. As an example, rapid developments in molecular biology caused many doctors to stray from their core competency of taking care of patients. Instead, they use questionable biological methods in hope of attaining the desired professor title faster. This has fatal consequences, such as bad patient care and, unfortunately, bad scientific work. Almost two-thirds of modern scientific studies do not meet the standards of evidence-based medicine. Such questionable studies are obviously not accepted by reputable medical journals. This has led many doctors to try getting around the problem by banding together and founding their own scientific publishing companies. No matter if the study is good or bad, it has to be published in order to bring the author closer to their desired goal, title, and or money. This is why we have the huge spectrum of scientific journals we have today. Many of them are not worth the paper on which the studies are printed. Today, physicians are generally more present in the European yellow press, and many are no longer good scientists. This does not just influence consumers, but also political decision makers and institutions that administer research funds. This is why lots of money in Europe is pumped into medical institutions that have been producing third-class science for years. However, a trend is slowly emerging, even here in Europe. This trend requires doctors, biologists, statisticians, and mathematicians to cooperate closely and follow strict scientific guidelines. Cooperation has not always worked so well, but it is getting better. Comprehensive cooperation among universities has only begun to develop over the last decade. These developments all surely contribute to conventional medicine's bad reputation. We'll learn more about that in the homeopathy video. Ask your doctor if the practices and methodology used in his or her office are evidence-based. And don't forget to research professional journals online to find out if the treatment you've been prescribed is actually effective. Alternatively, simply... Watch the videos on checkdent.com.